We all know how well meat and vegetables go together in a meal. But before he cooked for his family, Terence had to be careful to keep his lettuce and pork chops separate. Why? Because harmful bacteria from the raw meat can cross-contaminate other foods and may make those eating it very sick. If Terence had forgotten to bring separate bags for his meat and produce at the grocery store, any bacteria from the pork chops could have cross-contaminated the head of lettuce. These bacteria can come from the juices of raw meat or even just the products or product packaging touching when no visible juices are present. Fortunately, Terence kept his raw meat and produce separated. But his food isn't out of danger yet. Cross-contamination can also happen in his refrigerator. But Terence remembered to keep his raw meat and vegetables separate. More cross-contamination avoided. Terence must be very careful when cutting his meat because, though he can't see it, there could be bacteria on this pork. He can spread this bacteria from the meat to his utensils, his vegetables, and his kitchen towel. If he does not wash his hands well after touching the meat, cross-contamination is far more likely. But fortunately for his family, Terence was careful. Terence washes his hands with soap and warm water for 20 seconds after handling the pork. He also washes the cutting board and utensils. He keeps his vegetables separate from his raw meat, and he's careful to keep the cutting board and utensils used for the meat away from his raw vegetables. All Terence has to do now is use a food thermometer to be sure that his meat is safely cooked. The pork's internal temperature is safe at 145 degrees Fahrenheit. All whole cuts of pork, beef, and lamb require a three-minute rest time before they're safe to eat. During these three minutes after meat is removed from the heat source, its temperature remains constant or continues to rise, which destroys any remaining bacteria. Terence was careful not to cross-contaminate his kitchen or food, and by cooking his meat to the proper temperature, he serves his family food that is safe to eat. He keeps the pork and lettuce separate during his prep, and now he can safely serve them together. For more information on how to prevent cross-contamination, visit foodsafety.gov. If you have specific questions, you can call USDA's Meat and Poultry Hotline toll-free at 1-888-MP-Hotline.